I'm put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where up you guys i hope you're having a wonderful day and yes guys you seen the title you seen the b-roll sofen has finally reached out to me and ta-da today's vlog is about the new sp35 it's very strange that i could remember all the sp sp40 sp36 now sp35 i would say this light it's like the middle the middle brother of the SP40 and the SP36. Now, if you guys didn't watch my previous video of the SP40, I'll leave a link here. And also, I did a video with Shaq, which I even asked Sofen. But of course, I'm not sponsored by Sofen. So Sofen, if you're watching this, feel free to sponsor me because uh, I've been promoting SP36. I've been using it. It's a good light. They are so kind enough to send me this SP35 to review. If you haven't watched that SP36 video, I'll leave a link here also. You can go check it out. But today, we are gonna do the SP35 and show you what this little baby can do. First off, let's start off with the unboxing. This is the Sofen SP35 box. All right, let's open this up. I am super excited for this. And what product wouldn't be completed without some instruction manuals, which I know none of you would read it. Inside the box, we have a USB Type-C cable. It is always appreciated that they include it with the flashlight. And what is included as well is a little strap, which I would hardly use this strap, to be honest with you. But what I would really use is this double-sided clip. And here we are with the beautiful Sofen SP35. Now let's dig in inside and see the battery. Now you have to always remember to take out the insulated plastic out of the battery before charging it. Basically, the flashlight would not work if you don't take out this piece of plastic. My God, guys, this is a beauty. I mean, the finishing, everything is so detailed. I mean, look at the heat sink and the hand grip. The design fits in my hand perfectly. Now, of course, when you look on the top, there is only one LED. All in all, great look, and let's go and test this baby outside. Very small guy, but very powerful. And of course, behind the camera, back after a long time, my dear friend Faiz. Hello, guys. <laughs> now you need to. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, <Yeah>. guys. <laughs> so, Faiz, yeah. how you been doing? Um, working <laughs> and cycling. <laughs> yeah. You brought all your lights with you as well. No, it's just some small ones. Some I didn't small bring ones? the big one yet. <laughs> no big ones here today. I mean, of course, you guys know that if I'm out doing a flashlight review, I need the expert. I'm... <laughs> yeah, you are the expert. You. How many lights do you have, Faiz? I'm just a hobbyist. No, but how many lights you have? Uh, I think almost 20. Expert. He should know something. That's what I'm trying to say here. He should know <laughs> enough. Hey, Lionel. Yes? Oh, you see the, the, the bunch of lights over there? Those are cyclists. The, yeah. That is the green corridor, right? Yeah. Now, over here is a canal. Now, you can see how far that is and how dark it is as well. This has 2,000 lumens. It has a throw of 350. Uh, 332, according to the spec sheets. Okay, 332. Yeah. Why is the expert? But let's see. Let's see Tobo if it could reach all the way there. Boom. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad for a small light. 2,000 lumens for this baby like this. It's impressive, isn't it, Faiz? Yeah. I mean, for an everyday use light. Yeah. Everyday use light. This is considered an everyday use light. Yeah. It's not a troll, 
nor is it a flood. Yeah, it's like what in the community call it everyday carry, EDC. EDC. Yeah. All right, so let's try to find our way to the green corridor from here. All right. And while we are walking to the green corridor, I will be the cameraman for <laughs> once. <laughs> Tell me more about the SP35. Yeah, it's a new size, the battery. Otherwise, it's still the same type, 3.7 volt. It's a huger battery, yeah. bigger battery. Okay, let me just show you a comparison. Okay, It's cool. using a 21700 battery, right? So this is your 21700 battery, 5000 milliamp capacity. Wow. Right? Yeah, it is a lot bigger. Yeah. A good Why, thing what's wrong with your fingers? Oh yeah, this is what happened when I fell. <laughs> no, I, I went, I scraped my my knuckles against the, the wall at Mount Faber. <laughs> Cycling. Yeah. Cycling injury. Don't worry, he doesn't have chicken pox or measles. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a different battery, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, on the SP36 and the SP40, they're using the smaller battery, which is the yeah, one so that Faiz has. This is 21700. 21 is the diameter of it, 700 is the length of it. Yeah. Diameter is 18, length is 650. So the length is very, very close. It's thicker, isn't it, the battery? Yes, correct. Okay, you can see the thickness here, guys. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, a lot thicker battery. I'm guessing why they're moving towards 21700 is because this smaller size battery has the same capacity as those, as those fat, fat batteries and 26650 is slowly being obsolete. And one thing good as well is that now charging is using USB-C. Oh uh, yes. Yes, it's yes. using a USB-C now, yeah. So you're using Android. <laughs> Correct. Right. This will be your new standard. Yep, USB-C. Fast charging. Goodbye, micro USB. <laughs> so what else can we know about the SP35, Faiz? I'm guessing you guys want to know how low this thing can go, right? Yep. One lumen. This is moonlight. One lumen. One lumen. Yeah, it's going to last you about 31 days on a full charge. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you are really frugal on batteries, maybe you're stuck somewhere on an island. 31 days! Yeah. It's one month! Yeah. <laughs> Provided your battery is healthy. Max is... 2,000 lumens mm. for two hours. Yes, but that is with thermal regulation from the light, which is why it's able to go for two hours. Oh. If there is no thermal regulation, I can bet you it's going to be way shorter. Temperature control, right? Yes, correct. So you don't burn yourself on this light. Ah, okay. So when it goes to 2,000 and it overheats, it will step down a bit to correct. maybe like 1,005 right. or 1,008 or something, right? Yeah. Okay. And then when it regulates back to a bearable temperature, it's going to go back up again. Brightness fluctuate, but it's not going to be obvious to your eyes unless you're really looking for it. Shex SP36 Pro mm -hmm. has this problem. It dims off very fast. That depends on the configuration of the UI. Okay. Alright, so maybe the turbo only allows the light to go for 30 seconds and then it will step down and then every time you want to use turbo again, you have to double click again. Yeah, but the thing is, mm. I feel like Shex SP36 Pro, mm -hmm. because it's like 8,000 lumens, it mm -hmm. heats up really fast, yeah. so it cannot sustain the, the brightness. Yeah, maybe that's one of the reasons why that particular UI is forced turbo. <laughs> yeah, so you have to every time turn on turbo again and again, every time you want it to be at full blast. But then also, when you're having all that heat, right, you'll have a voltage drop, which means your output itself will also be affected. It will not be getting your full 8,000 lumens. And this is good to know, guys, because a lot of you guys who are using all these lights, there's always this temperature control thing, and mm -hmm. you don't understand why it actually drops down the lumens. It's actually to protect your flashlight and your hands as well. Correct. It's a safety function not so that you don't hands. get overheat. As you can see, the button is on the side, right? Yeah. If let's say you're sitting down and it's in your pocket, yeah. and it goes on turbo, it's going to burn your pants. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It has happened on a few occasions. But on... yours burned your carpet. <laughs> yeah, that was because I was trying to kill a cockroach. I melted my, my carpet. <laughs> Alright guys. An adventure we go. <laughs> nah, it's a walk in the park. For those of you who follow me a long time, you guys know that we do all the night adventure. We go out at night. We play with lights a lot. <laughs> of course, having good lights is very important just so that you can see where you're going. Just so you could light up places like this in front so that you could see it's really very dark, right? But with this, my viewers get to see clearly what's happening. Where are we heading to? Where are we going? So yeah, I mean, lights are always very useful. I personally own the SP36. Today I got the SP35 and we're going to put the SP35 to the test tonight to see if it's worthy 
to be in our adventures. And as you can see, the park connector ends here. A little off trail and we should reach to the green corridor. No problem, Faiz. Pretty <laughs> easy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's going to be a problem for you to go up there. Uh, I hope not. No, 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 Faiz, it's okay. Look, there's some path there. People have done this on many occasions. <laughs> Probably all the residents as well. All the residents who are living here, they want to have a walk at the park, they go here. What I'm using here is the SP36. I'm going to switch to the SP35. Oh, not too bad. 2,000 lumens. Oh, that's slightly a bit soft ice, but I think it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I'm wearing sneakers. Yeah, but Faiz, you got good balance anyways. Yeah. <laughs> you did gymnastics. No, I did. I have never done gymnastics in my life. Okay, and we are here at the green corridor. It's that easy. Let's go to the valley, Faiz. Because that's where we can actually test the range. The valley, you guys. The valley. Whoa. Faiz, remember this place? Yeah, of course. I go by here every time I get to like what your place. Well, I mean, Faiz, yeah. we did a vlog here. Uh -huh. Tell them that you leave a link to go and watch that vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, can, you, can, you can click this link for that video, guys. <laughs> As you guys know, the, the lowest is moonlight, right? One lumen. One lumen. Yeah. So the next one up is seven lumens, eco mode. Show them. Yeah. Show them. This is seven lumens. That's, I mean, I can't see anything. That's because our eyes are not adjusted to the night. We are, we are blinded by the bloody flood right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe on the ground. Maybe on the ground. Yeah, that's seven lumens. Yeah. Next up will be 120 lumens. 120? Yeah. Does it go? Does it go out? Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. It does. A bit. Yeah. And then next up will be 400 lumens. That's 400 lumens. Yeah. Oh, slightly brighter. And then we go all up to high. 950. This is 950. Yeah. Oh, this is more than enough, Faiz. Look. Exactly. This is what most lights are putting out, about 1,000. Oh. Right, this is close to 1,000 lumens. Wow, this is very good. I okay. Mean, between 950 and 1,000 lumens, you're not going to be able to see that 50 lumen difference. Yeah, and then turbo. Oh, double click. There you go. Whoa, that's turbo. Yep. And this is? 2,000 lumens. 2,000. <laughs> yeah. You can see the, the, the beam, the beam profile the light. No? Wow! So you guys saw the SP35, 2000 lumens. Uh -huh. Now let's show them the floodlight, SP36, so that they can compare. You guys know that this is 4 LEDs, right? Yeah. This is going to be throwy because of the sheer lumens. Okay. All right? It's not going to be throwy because of the lens, but because there's so much light coming out of this. Yeah. All right? That's 5000 lumens. Yeah, all right. Now that's 5000 lumens. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me just double click this. Yeah. That's 2,000. Right. Right, and then you can see that it's actually touching the tree line over there. Yeah. And this one is lighting it up a bit more. Oh, okay. But also because this is throwing out of sheer lumens itself. Nice. Deeper into the forest we go, guys. <laughs> Look. You see the eyes? Adventure. Faiz saw something. Toads also have eyes, Faiz. Oh no, it's birds. It's bloody birds. What? It's a bird. <laughs> Where? It's right there, it's a bird. bird it's right there. Oh! It's, a bird. it's this one, guys. This one. It's a bird. Zoom in. Why don't you zoom yeah, in? Yeah. There's no zoom in this lens, Faiz. Because it's not a bat. There you go. See? It's not a bat. It's a bird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm so sick of waiting And getting too restless to be in this dusty town Oh uh -huh. 
see the light. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> All right, last part. Hidden modes. So triple click gives you stroke. Mm -hmm. Let me demo this. One, two, three. There you go, you got stroke. Double click from stroke. You get SOS. Alright, double click again. You get beacon. What's the difference between beacon and SOS? SOS also you want people's attention. Yes, correct. You <laughs> have the luxury of blinking SOS because you're not too far. Go ahead with SOS. But let's say if you're very, very far. Mm -hmm. Right? And all you need is this. Then yep. you use the beacon. Yeah. But they have like ants all over me now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not wearing boots today, so. So the last part, I want to compare it with the SP40. This, this was my first ever flashlight. I use this SP40 and thanks to Faiz. Faiz, thanks for the You're recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> the SP40 is 1,600 lumens at Tobo, whereas the SP35 is 2,000 lumens at Tobo. Okay, so this is the SP40 at Tobo. Can you see that? They don't have a beam at the center, isn't it, Faiz? I mean, there is, but it's not as focused. We go with the SP35 at Tobo. Boom. You can see that the beam is a lot more defined, isn't it? Yeah, a touch more defined. Yeah. Well, I wanted to get a hat today, so to see if I could like mount on my hat, but um, I left it in the car. Oh, maybe, maybe we could just show it later on, right Faiz? Yeah. Okay, so is there anything else that I should do over here? Because now I'm at the bottom of the valley. Faiz, where does this all the way to the end of the valley go to? It goes to the other side of the valley. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> like, if I only have to pick one light, yeah. then probably I would go with the SP35. Yep. Because it has the function to throw the function of turbo, yeah, pretty much almost like a flood, but not really a flood. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, that's why people use it as an EDC also. Good size, very good size. That's what she said. No. Pretty much my size. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see at the back there, that's all trees over there. Apparently, if you walk through, you reach to Dover, right, Faise? Uh, yeah. I think he's asking us to shut up and get the hell out of here. It's haunted, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's seventh month. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but it's seventh month today. Wow. Yeah, he's telling you to get the hell out of here. Yeah. But anyways, I thought of like uh, doing a night adventure over here, but apparently Faiz told me that it's not worth it. It's like just a very short distance and then we will get um, to Dover, isn't it? Yeah. Or Ulu Pandang, Ulu Pandang side. I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll head back. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Oh, he really keep quiet. <laughs> well, frogs, they don't like it when we uh, have lights on them. They usually make a lot of noise when there's lights. I don't like going down here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm worse. I'm on sneakers. Uh, okay. Wish me luck. Uh, I don't know. Do the viewers want to see you fall? The good thing is, with lights, you get to see where you're walking. So, if you want to get a SP35, <laughs> links in the description below. <laughs> and check out Sofen. And thank you Sofen for sending the SP35 for me to review. <laughs> Since the day I got my first flashlight and then mm. today, Sofen reached out to me and sent me one for a review. Mm -hmm. Aren't you proud of me? Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. And before you guys leave a comment down below asking me where is Alex or where is Jack, well, today Alex, Alex have some personal matters to take care. And I'm not gonna go into that. Shaq, Shaq is busy, very busy. Yeah, he's, he has a lot of work lately. But today Faiz is with me. Hi. And you haven't seen Faiz for a while <laughs> as well. <laughs> Honest thoughts. What mm -hmm. do you think of the SP35? Okay, well, something I was looking for because it's in a tube light, in a tube, uh, what do you call that? Yo, you're holding it, Faiz. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> so when it goes into the pocket, yep. it's not bulging at the head. Right. Right? So it's easier to go in and out. Ah, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The problem I have with this is it's a, it's a side switch. Personally, I still prefer a rear switch because I like to hold my legs like this. Final verdict, recommended. Yeah, of course. Links in the description below. Check out Sofen. <laughs>
And with that being said, I hope you enjoy tonight's vlog, tonight's review. You guys keep smiling. See ya! Alright, what? No, no, nobody heard that. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the test that I wanted to do. I love this clip. It could clip this way and it could clip this way. Both directions. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a little bit heavy for a headlamp. <laughs> I mean, you can use it in a pinch. It is. It's possible. <laughs> you could do it this way as well. And keep it. There you go. 